Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's a VAR 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at Revit 2016 and how to tag objects. Here I am in the Revit software. I've got some four walls here. We notice that when we work with certain component objects like doors or windows, we have tag on placement as an option. If it is selected in cyan background, that means it's turned on. And that means that as you're placing the object, it is automatically tagged. If it's turned off, then it doesn't get tagged. When we look at the tag, it can be selected. You can specify it as horizontal or vertical. You can specify whether it has a leader or not. If it does have a leader, it can be an attached end, or it can be a free end. And the way the free end functions is if you select here, say free end, then you get a second dot that can be placed anywhere. It doesn't actually have to touch the object. Whereas this one, which is a free end, although you can move this and you can do this kind of press and drag move, that end still stays put. When we're tagging, we go to the annotate tab of the ribbon. There is a tags panel. You can tag by category, tag all not tagged, and material tag. There's also a multi-category tag, but you have to build the family. See, so if I say tag by category, I can select it pick the object that I wish to tag. If the tag is loaded, it will pop up and show you right away. If it's not loaded, it'll give you a warning. So here it says free end, so I'm just going to do this for now. And let's put in uh, some windows real fast. And if your tag doesn't have the data that's needed, then what it's happening is that it's looking at the type mark properties down here, <clears throat> and there's no data. So if I type in uh, w, w A, A, like that, then that information shows up. So that's tag by category here. Tag all not tagged allows you to tag all the objects that you want at one shot. For example, windows and doors uh, and walls, with or without a leader. I'm going to say with a leader. And hit OK, and it tags everything at one shot. And you can massage it after the fact, too. So if a lot of firms, they like to do the tag for walls as being free end because they want that line to go across the wall like this. Okay. And then lastly, material tag. Material tag, the way it functions is uh, it's looking at the material of the object itself. So let's switch this to brick. If I go down to the type properties of the brick, and drill into its material under identity tab it's looking for the description field here so if I put in four inch nominal brick like this then what ends up happening is that when I tag by material which is this one I can put my mouse over the object click it drag it and it should pull out the data if it doesn't pull out the data verify that your tag is going across that it's touching it verify that the material is described and you may have to pull it out, pull it back and sometimes this happens it's a strange issue so let's switch this to brick and CMU let's switch this to fine, shade it, flip that and select this and there's four, four inch nominal brick. Okay. Now, if I use this command again, it allows me to tag it. So, tag by material, just FYI, once in a weird blue moon, it does something like that. So, you may have to tag another object to get it to work. Uh, and that's it. That's how you use the tagging in Revit 2016 for tag by material and material tag and tag on that tag. 
Thanks for watching my screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.